Howdy everybody, Big Fatty Plus here. Welcome back to the Big Man Plays The Dream Machine. When last left off, we uh, managed to save uh, Selma from uh, the Wall of Eyes and also found the wall that connected, that bridged, uh, that, that, that separated her dream from Mr. Willard's. But I'm gonna, before I get on task with what I need to do, I'm going to check on uh, them and see what's going on. How's he doing? He's stable, but he's lost a lot of blood during the night. He'll live, but I'm glad he I got here when he did. When I did. From what I hear, I've got you to thank for that. Thank nothing of it. If you should ever come by again, you'll find yourself a most welcome guest in our home. We don't have riches, but we make up for it in charm and good looks. Selma here is the jewel of the family. Between you and me, I'll have you know she's not yet spoken for. Grandpa! You can't blame me for trying. I'm afraid I am spoken for. See what I mean, Selma? If you wait too long, the good ones get snatched. <laughs> Speaking of which, I should probably get going. You'll do that, son. Well, we've, um, gotten this all together. But now let's go try and help the, uh, the lady. If we can. The, um, the scout! If I had to think for a second. <laughs> Alright, yeah, you guys stand there, keep being useless. Just be useless. Be your useless selves. Because that's all you can be. They're still not coming, huh? Guess I'll have to forge my own path. Don't be shy if you find something like a wagon. I'll give you my bow if you get me out of this mess. Sure. See you around. Well, let's see. I happen to have two. Have you considered crafting some kind of cart so you can drag yourself along the ground? Frankly, yes. But I don't see any cart components lying around, do you? What about these? These look pretty sturdy. If you could find two more wheels, I'd be much obliged. I'll see what I can do. Well, here's one. What about this? That looks pretty good. If you could find another wheel, I'd be much obliged. I'll see what I can do. What about the, uh, boards here? What about these? That's not half bad. I could build a base out of those. If you could find another wheel, I'd be much obliged. I'll see what I can do. I know where I can find another wheel. Let me just, uh, come around here. <sighs> and, um, those guys are still completely useless. Hey, can I have your door? Small base trunk, covered by small round door. It's my front door, whole wagon reel, pretty nifty. Sounds useful. Can I borrow it? And leave my treasure exposed to burglars? I think not. Might be for a few hours. Without the door, my treasure is defenseless. Be here to guard it, surely. I can't fight off these in this condition. I need all the reinforcement I can get. What about this? Can I trade you this warning whistle for your door? You can call the mob if someone tries to steal your treasure. It's only temporary, of course. Oh well. I guess that's a fair trade. At least my treasure won't be completely defenseless anymore. Great! Here you go. Thanks. Just take the door. I'll send you. Gun hinge it carefully. Can I look in? Small hole to base the trunk. So you below ground. Too big to fit through. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Yep, that's why we need uh, the gun from Willard's dream. I like the idea of going to someone's dream to steal something, uh, snipe, swipe, uh, to use something from their dream in another dream. I like that. I like that idea. Here you go. Uh, what about this? That's not half bad. I can make my cart now. Finally, I'll be able to get out of here. 
Please accept this bow as a token of my gratitude. Why, thank you, Mademoiselle. Wait. Thank you for having me, Carl. I'll get back to my trolley. Speaking of which, they must be worried sick about me. Shall we get back ASAP? See you around. I would love it if she actually just wheeled up on him and started screaming at him. That would that would that would delight me to know. Oh my God, she did. <laughs> there he is, the man of the hour. Thank you for helping our scout get back to the fold. It would have been a tragedy to lose her. She has the fighter side this side of the wall. Yeah, think nothing of it. Was there anything else? Yeah, I gotta go. Stay out of trouble, son. <laughs> Oh boy, I swear that's just that's just that's just that's just funny right there. I'm gonna tell you what. All right, now we just need to. Uh... Oh, I don't have to click that anymore. It's just straight that way. Now, here's how we do this. Remember how I said we have to somehow we have to get through Willard's dream, right? We have to get the gun to show her magic. Well, let's see. If we combine the bow with the fork twig, we get the bow and arrow. It's better than nothing, I guess. And... The twig seems to be stuck on the other side of the wall. I'll secure the yarn on this end. There. That should hold it, hopefully. The yarn seems secured on both sides. But it won't support my weight. It don't have to. At least, not right now. all this crap I don't even know what to do with yet. But now we are going to leave her dream and go to Mr. Willard's dream. Hopefully to uh, get the gun. I have a feeling we have to hatch that egg and the egg's gonna let me fly. Hey don't worry buddy we'll, we'll, we'll take care of your, your, your bone issue. Y'all still gonna stand there? Shouldn't she get medical attention? She's bleeding out! Friggin' morons to boat you. Swear to God. I wonder if I could tell her about the squirrel and his kneecap issue. So did you find the wicked? Uh, I did. She doesn't want to teach me until I show her some magical predisposition. Oh. You don't know magic? Nope. Do you? Of course. I know healing magic. Can you teach me that, then? That's not how it works, I'm afraid. Magical te predisposition is something you're born with. Perhaps you know magic and you're not just aware of it yet. Have you ever made strange things happen with your mind? No. Perhaps you didn't even notice. A tiny display is often the first sign. <sighs> okay, so that was pointless. But there's other ways to make magic. Other ways to make magic. Let's leave Selma's stream. I am waiting. I am waiting to hurry up. Thank you. Guess Mrs. Steed's tentacle can wait. Yep, it has to wait. We're kind of, uh... At an impasse, unless I do... This! Alright... Sender... Mr. Willard... Put that on... Okay, why do you have to do the scream? I don't like the scream. The scream is uncomfortable. Please stop doing the scream. Okay. Shut up, watch. <laughs> Part 18. Alright, there's our little, uh, twig. See, look at that. It's the twig I shot from Selma's train.
Now let's just uh Now that we're tiny We can cross the void as our tiny you're, you're okay you're gonna inch across. Really? You're gonna inch across like the oh good lord, you're gonna inch across. Well this is gonna take an hour and a half. <laughs> Several minutes later, where the heck are we? Oh, I <laughs> like they actually cut me forward. I like that. I was like, oh, am I actually going to sit here and listen to some kind of mental disposition while we're calling across? Several minutes later, no, we're not. Oh, thank you. <laughs> But, but sadly, because I didn't come in this way, I, I lost all the... Am I going to have to go back and walk back to get the... Because <sighs> I lost some items there. Like the guy's bones. This kind of sucks, really. Wait, no, is it? Yeah, no, is it? Yeah, it's this way. Go over here. And we'll be along shortly. Hopefully, to learn a magic spell. Hey, how you doing? Will this work? That's it, child! Think we should know magic after all. Impress pretty impressive stuff, I might add. What type of ingredients did you use for that potion? Rosemary and rose petals? Stuffed animal fur? Uh, hold on, I'll, I'll show you. Oh, you did it for me, thank you. I used this gun. That's unlike anything I've ever seen before. Pretty sweet, eh? I don't know how you got a hold of such a thing, but I suggest you be careful with it. Fear and doubt emanates from it. So you will teach me the potion you mentioned earlier? Of course, dear. Making it will be tricky. I'm out of ingredients. Figures. All the ingredients we have found here in the forest. Here, let me give you the recipe. Come back here once you found them, and I'll instruct you how to make the brew. Thanks. Limes, acorns. I know where that's going. Oh, dove egg, I have. Dirt from the a fresh grave. Water, lily, stamen. Burnt limestone. Acorn. Well, I know where to get the dang acorn. I have. I technically have the dove's egg. Let me save really quick, and then I need to check something because I, I I don't know if you know I lost that stuff. So one moment. Okay. The I'm going to have to do the whole thing to I'm going to have to bounce back and forth, but dreams because I have the knights issue here, but uh, I can get an egg pretty easily right now, just by grabbing another one of these. Shakes a mess. Steal an egg. We got that taken care of. We're good. Alright. Now. I really shouldn't have picked up all that other crap before. But you know. I wasn't expecting. You know. This particular mess. Alright. We got the egg. That's the first item right there. Now let's see. There's a hole. Looks like rotten is not a hole through the wall. Well, let's uh, go in here. Oh. So you finally come for me. Um, sorry? Surprised you managed to get past my barricade. 
but in a way I'm relieved. Well, what are you waiting for? Do it. You do what? Cut me open like all the others. Just take what you can for. And leave me alone. I intend to sleep through this era and the one after. You've, you've got it all wrong. I'm not the organ thief. Then what are you doing here? Another gloater here to mock and jest? Leave me to be molested in peace. My name is Victor Neff. I'm not here to mock you. I come to stop the organ thief. Oh dear. Just what the world needs. Another hero. Oh, who are you? My name's Jerome. At least it used to be. I don't know what people call me these days. Probably something unflattering. What are you doing here? I'm hiding here until the trouble dies down. My kind always gets persecuted when people start losing their limbs. A your kind? I'm a vampire, Victor. Don't be alarmed. I'm too weak to move during hibernation. I couldn't hurt you even if I wanted to. In fact, you're safe in here with me. Out there, either the thief will get you, or the lynch mobs will. But I've erected a barricade to keep people out. You're, mo you're welcome to share this hut with me. I understand if you don't want to, though. Most people consider my presence to be unsettling. What's it like being like being a vampire? Immortality is not what you might think. After a while, you feel as if you've seen everything before. People start merging into an indistinguishable lump of pity needs and pity problems. That sounds awful. That's why I hibernate through most of it. When will you come out of hibernation? When times are better in a century or two. Every once in a while, an era comes along where I feel at home. A moment in time where truly new ideas are welcome. That's why I leave my hiding place and start living again. These moments are very rare, though. But you're all sir. It's ages for small-minded, dead-eyed thinkers. For clock watchers and bean counters. Insect minds with insect agendas. Are you talking about this world or mine? Cause dude, it sounds like you're talking about mine. And for that, I wholly agree. What makes you think we're safer in, we're safe in here? I barricade the entrances so no one can get in. And nobody knows I'm here, so they won't come looking. And what about me? You have an honest face, Victor. I'm sure you won't tell anyone. I managed to get through the barricade. You cheated. I saw you use some kind of magical artifact. I doubt there's many of those around. If that's what it takes to get in, I figure we're pretty safe. I noticed a weakness in your barricade. Really? There's a hole in the roof of this place. I saw that earlier, but I don't think it's big enough for a person to get through. Look big enough to me. You're just trying to make me feel insecure. I believe I'm safe in here until you prove otherwise. I'm trying to stop the organ thief. How are you going to do that? I don't know yet. Only if I knew where he'd strike next. Maybe I could ambush him or something. Sounds like a good way to get maimed. I need to go. Don't tell anyone I'm in here. No problem, but I see sausages. Some moldy sausages have been left on the floor. Cup. So I left a cup here, obviously. It's got a huge cracking from years of use. Ooh, a kiln. It's an old kiln. Mash and powder covers the bottom. If not mistaken, this is burnt limestone. Bingo! Just what I need. Uh, I'll catch you later there. Uh, let me see. Make sure you the barricade. Pile of furniture forms a makeshift barricade. It's much stronger than it looks. Can't even budge this chair. Uh, but imagine not. The wards took me three days to create. Oh, so you magicked it too. Which is highly smart of you, actually. But, uh, I would imagine the organ. I'm probably gonna have having to use you as bait. So I'll catch you later there, Jerome. You have a good day. And I will see you around. Now I need that. Oh, Alright, now let's use this staff. No, put that back. What do you mean you can't? And let's use this. I can't use the staff if you're in the way, dummy. Well, that was pointless. Staff should be big enough. Could you move? Maybe 
I can move those closer. May Aha! Yep. Because I've got to make a bridge for myself when I'm tiny. And there we go. We got a bridge. We got a bridge over troubled waters. <laughs> All right, now let me just shrink down because that's all we're going to get across. I can't reach it. What do you mean you can't reach it? Send him up. I still love it, bad. There we go. Could you just get over there, please? Thank you. Can reach the same in them if I separate the pedals a bit. Bingo! There. Can I wonder if I could talk to the young girl there again? Hello? Hello, mister. I'm looking for something. You too. I need some grave dirt. They used to bury the dead east of here. But they stopped once the castle fell. I think I might have been there once. I'm not sure. Some make ones here and there. But they're never around for too long. I think someone collects them. I know where the acorns are. I know where the acorns are. I just have to get there. Just uh, go over to that uh, little squirrel's hut and uh, say, "Hey, I need to get an acorn, buddy. You, you mind? I, I, I need an acorn. If he'll let me." Whoa! Did you just teleport that back? Hmm. Wonder if that means the knight's body's back too. But I'll check here in a minute. Hey, uh, we just, uh... How'd you become so small? That's amazing! i never seen magic like that before! This girl looks pretty intimidating from down here. You probably be whole. It's gonna go on your... Hi! Where do you think you're going? Don't make me blow the whistle! I need an acorn for a potion. Just one? You sure? I only need one. Well, I suppose I could spare one acorn. I mean, it's only taken me all year to collect them. I'll probably be alright with what I got. If the winter isn't too harsh, you should- Oh, quit with the frickin' guilt trip! Great! Please don't let there be anything horrible in here. Please don't let there be anything horrible in here. Please don't let there be anything horrible here. I know it's a, I know it's a squirrel hole, but this, uh, I don't trust this game. I swear I don't trust this dang game. This game is sneaky with its mess. It can end up catching me with something that make me scream like a little brat. Please don't let there be anything. To, oh, good acorns. Just one acorn. The acorn's too big to pick up and too heavy to roll uphill. How am I supposed to get it out of here? Nothing happened. Got my things working using my. How am I supposed to? He said nothing. Uh, how am I supposed to do this game? Seriously, how am I supposed to do this? Gotta be a. Well, I guess I'll go check the see if the uh, the bodies back where it should. Because I'm really not sure I'm supposed to do that. Could you? Could you? Could you? Thank you. Fairly impressive trick you got there. You should take down the road. You'd make millions. 
I'll be your manager. What do you say? I'll think about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll think about it. Mm -hmm. I don't trust you. You robbed me. Like a squirrel would. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Aha! I could probably take care of this guy. So he's so he's right here. So I could probably uh, yeah I could probably take care of this because I have pretty much everything I need right here. I lost the bow. I think maybe one other hand, but that's fine. But thankfully the um the knight's body is back here, so I'm fine. I'm fine. But am I going to be able to get the acorn? Am I going to be able to help the knight? find his rest. For the next time on The Big Man Plays The Dream Machine. To the next big fatty plus sign or and yes, yes text. I yes. Y you know exactly why I was jittery going in that hole cuz I don't trust this game. I don't trust any game that tells me going into a small hole in a woodland creature's den cuz you know, I could go in and find out that the, the little squirrels made friends with a freaking giant spot well, well giant by my standards being small spider they come up hey let me get you and I would be I would scream and being that it is indeed two in the morning I would wake up the entire household and be pummeled mercilessly 